Hey there, it's Nathalie. And at midnight tonight, I'm gonna to have a drawing to give away this uh, altered paper clip charm. You can use it as a necklace or something in your journal. Uh, the, to qualify for the drawing, so that drawing at midnight is Central Standard Time. I'm in Texas, and so if you can't tell my by accent. Anyway, so midnight tonight, I'm gonna to have a drawing to give this away. And if you're already a subscriber, Thank you very much. Uh, leave a comment on why you'd like to win this and refer back to my uh, safety pin, rusty safety pin tutorial that I did. The link is in the, in the description below. When I showed you how to make rusty uh, safety pins, like you need that, and this wonderful rusty safety pin piece of paper that I'm gonna do something with. Anyway, so you're going to count how many times I said some form of the word grungy. I did not realize until I was editing the video how many times I said grungy or grungy or, or grungy is or grunginess. So if you're not a subscriber, then you need to subscribe, leave a comment and tell me how, and why you'd like to win this and how many times did I say some form of the word grungy. If you are a subscriber, go ahead and just leave a comment why you'd like to win this and watch the safety pin video, the rusty safety pin video, and tell me how many times I said grungy. I will announce the winner tonight at midnight. So, so stay tuned for the rest of the video. Don't go away and see how I made this uh, altered paperclip charm using these wonderful uh, rusty safety pins. Hey there, it's Nathalie, and uh, hey, I'm glad you're here. Uh, we're gonna make, I've got, uh, well, I just covered it up. Another paper clip, little altered paper clip something. And uh, in the last video I did, I did some rusted safety pins. So I'm gonna use these. I've got a little pearl, uh, some glass beads that I picked up at a garage sale, uh, some little rivets. These are not the tiny little rivets with the crocodiles and all that stuff. It's an old fashioned, old school rivet gun. And uh, a couple of little charms, a little Tim Holtz charm. And I've got some of these kind of antique bronze findings and some Tim Holtz loop pins. I've got some tea dyed paper and I have this paper that I uh, stamped with some brown ink. I'm not sure exactly what it says or what language it is, but uh, we're gonna assume that it's maybe French. All right, so that's what I'm gonna start with. I'm gonna cut this off just so that I can work with it a little bit better. I should tear it, but I'm not going to. And I'm going to use my little piece of tea dyed paper. I'm going to go ahead and put this on there. Okay, so before I put that on there, uh, before I put the paper onto the paper clip, I'm going to take some of these glass beads. It has a little opening right here. Let's see if I can make a mess with this. I said it has a little opening, and there's one on this side too. I haven't tried this ahead of time, obviously. Oh, wait a second. Look, there's instructions on the back. Those are not the openings. It's a slide out. When all else fails, Follow the instructions, right? There we go, look at that, how easy was that? All right, so I'm gonna open this up just a little bit and I'm going to put some of these little glass beads. On here. Well, let's put, I think I wanna put the big one on there. Let's put the big one on there, all right. And he'll, that one will go like that. I think I like that pin part hanging at the bottom. So we'll loop that around so it's like that. A couple of more of these beads. We'll put three on there. And I should have put the loop for the top on there already, but I didn't. So let's go ahead and get that. And 
got a little split ring. And so since I didn't do it to start off with, I am going to come with that shorter one and come up so it's like that. So then now it's looped in. All right. And see, I've got clearance on my pins. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to go into this long side. And when I say the long side, I mean like this side of the paper clip is smooth right here. Fold that over just a little bit and glue that. Let me see if I can zoom in. Sometimes my camera gets real cantankerous with me when I zoom in. I don't know why it doesn't like that. All right, so we'll glue right on that fold. And then I've got, let me scoot this out of the way, I've got this little piece of map that I want to put on here that doesn't have anything to do with anything other than it's a piece of map that I've tea dyed and I'm going to glue it and then hole punch it. I hope it'll punch with this. I should probably let that dry a little bit, or I should have done it earlier. Okay, there we go. That'll work. So put my little rivet uh, eyelet, not a rivet, an eyelet through here. So this really, these are vintage little eyelets. I'm sure that probably now you can find some other ones that are in this little color. Uh, kind of this little cool turquoisey color that's the same that's on the map and similar to what's going on here. And you know what, I'm going to wait about attaching this because I'm going to do a couple of other things. So I'm just going to clip this together and set that to the side for just a second. But there's how that looks. I hope you all don't mind if I try to make up my mind while we're on camera. So I've got these little things. I've got this piece of lace, but it's, it's too big. It'll cover everything up. And uh, I really want to use a piece of lace. So I, what I think I'm going to do is cut this trim off of the edge. And that'll make it just kind of a little bit more raggedy. And I'm going to see whether I want to use this much of it or if I want to trim it back even a little bit further. Let's see. Okay, I like that because I still have some of the print that's showing above that. I want to use tacky glue for this. So I'm going to glue across the pin and the lace. I'll probably have to cut some of that off. I think I've got a little bit too much lace. Can you have too much lace? I don't know if you can have too much lace or not. I don't think so. All right, this is the front because there's where my seam is. all caught in the glue. You can use tacky glue, you can use matte medium. I wouldn't use the glue stick for gluing down the fabric parts. You could use uh, uh, 
fabric tack fabric glue let's see does it need to be up or down and I actually could just stop right there it might need a button I'm gonna go find a little uh, see if I can find a button that's kind of a turquoisey little button. I'll be right back. Go dig in my stash. All right, I went and dug in my stash of stuff. Okay, so there's this turquoise button, and it kind of goes with that. And then there's this smaller one, that little size button. And I have an old mother of pearl. So let's look at this. I'm going to look at my monitor so I can see because sometimes things look different in the monitor than when I'm, I'm actually looking at them. So there's with the mother of pearl. There's with the turquoise. And then the little smaller turquoise. Okay, I think this one is my favorite. Okay, I decided on this little button and I have a piece of crochet thread that I was looking all over the place for it's just like how can you lose something in t in a square foot it just is amazing to me all right so I'm going to thread this crochet thread into this button from the back I want a knot on the front of it so I just think it'll be cuter that way Pull that through. Now this is going to be our last step, so I'm going to invite you now to uh, subscribe and uh, let me know if you like this. Give me a little thumbs up if you like this. Um, also, you know, you could leave in the comments some of the other things that you might, I mean, you know, because I do a lot of stuff, and some of the other projects you might like to see a tutorial on. Uh, be sure you visit myhallcloset.com and subscribe over there to get on my uh mailing list, my newsletter list. I promise I won't spam you. For sure, for sure. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of glue right there. Maybe just a tiny little spot right on the top of that thread. All right, so there's our little charm. Let me get it onto another piece of paper so you can see rather than on my hand. Turned out pretty sweet. I think I like that really good. That little uh, text showing through there, the little piece of map, a dream, that's a Tim Holtz dream charm and my rusty safety pins there and there. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.